Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Morgan from the Williston Community Library, bringing you today's day 11 of the 12 days of holidays. So today we are going to be going ahead and we are going to make a gnome puppet. So if you received a kit from us, everything is included in there. If you didn't receive a kit from us, what you're going to need is you're going to need a brown paper lunch sack, some cotton swabs, or I mean cotton balls, um, and two pieces of paper, one so you can make a hat and one so you can make a nose. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and glue my hat on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out my gnome's hat. So now that I've got my gnome's hat cut out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue it on my paper lunch bag. And I want to make sure that the flap is right here. So I'm going to take my glue. And I've got it glued down here. And you'll want to make sure you press on it a lot. That way you know that it, it sticks. And I'm going to put a cotton ball on the top of my gnome set. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this flap up a little bit and I'm going to put some glue down. To make my gnome's beard. And I'm just ripping my cotton balls up a little bit to make it a little bit easier. So this is what it looks like so far. And you might have to add more glue um, depending on how much you stick on there to begin with. Like I need a little bit more glue right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gnome's nose. Oh, that got cotton ball stuck all over my hands. And I'm going to cut that out. And 
I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to glue it. I was going to move that down, but it's not going to. Oh, but that's okay. So there is my gnome puppet. So hopefully yours turns out really, really good. If you weren't able to pick up a kit from us, um, some paper would just some construction paper would work for the nose and stuff. If you picked a bucket from us, yours might have a design on it. Um, you could decorate it. If you want to add more to it, that is totally fine. Um, like always, if you'd like to send us pictures, we would love to see them. All right, everybody. Now that we've had a chance to make our gnome puppets, what we are going to do is we are going to read a story. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apologize right now just in case I mispronounce any of the words because there are some words in Spanish in this book. All right, so what we're going to read is Simon Says, and it's an English-Spanish word book. And this is by Apple Jordan, based on the characters by Rod Rodenecker, illustrated by the Thompson Rose. Ready or not, here I come, yelled Cassie. The little dragon had finished counting for a game of hide and seek. Now she went in search of her friends. But the only thing she found was a familiar gnome taking a nap beneath a mushroom cap. Can't a guy get some sleep around here, barked the grumpy gnome. I'm sorry, said Cassie. You see, I'm looking for my friends. We're playing a game, and I'm it. The gnome jumped to his feet and extended his hand in greeting. Simon's the name, and games are, well, my game. I remember you, said Cassie, who had once played a game with the funny little gnome. Do you want to play too? Certainly said Simon. The gnome jumped onto Cassie's shoulder. In a twinkle, the two were flying high in the sky, searching for signs of Max, Emmy, Orb, and Zach, and Wheezy. Cassie and Simon found everyone hiding on Stickleback Mountain. Max was the last to be found. Listen! Max said, as a flock of birds began to chime, Manzanas duranos un pastel de moras dragoncas. That's my, that, my friends, is the sweet sound of the Espanola song birds. Simon piped up. They're singing in Spanish. I wish Quetzal was here to tell us what they were saying, Orb sighed. If you play another game with me, said Simon, I'll help you find out. Okie dokie, said Wheezy. I love games. With a wink and a nod, Simon made a magical board game a magical game board appear. It stretched as far as the eye could see. The game is Simon says, and si said Simon, and the rules are very simple. Just do as I say but only when I sit, Simon says. Along the way, you'll learn the words of the songbird song. That's easy, said Max, jumping onto the first square. We played this before, Max, said Emmy. Remember, it's harder than it sounds, so make sure you really listen. Let the games begin exclaimed Simon, and with another quick wink, he made the game board spiral to their first stop, Muggy Muck Swamp. Simon says, move three spaces, 
Simon calls from his lily pad perch. One, two, three. The friends counted together as they hopped ahead. Now move ahead five spaces, said Simon. Max began to move to the next square, but Cassie grabbed his hand before, before he touched it. No, Max, said Cassie. He didn't say Simon says. Oops, said Max. Whew, that was close. Simon says move ahead four spaces. The friends walked together four spaces, but this time, when their feet touched the last square, the game board turned into a giant spring, and they were catapulted high into the air. They soared clear across dragon land and landed softly in an apple orchard. Apple orchard filled with hundreds of delicious apples. Good playing, said Simon. Now I'll revert, reveal the first word of the song. Manzanas in, is Spanish for apples. Mmm, I love apples, said Ord as he excitedly reached for a ruby red one. Yum. After everyone had filled up on some tasty manzanas, Simon gave his next command. Simon says, touch your nose. So everyone did. Simon says, tickle someone's toes. With lots of giggles, everyone bent down to tickle each other's toes. Now, hop on one leg, said Simon. Everyone stood perfectly still, except for Emmy, who lifted one foot up and was getting ready to hop. Not yet, Emmy, warned Max. He didn't say Simon says. Oops, Emmy said. I was laughing so hard that I wasn't listening. Simon snapped his fingers, and two doors appeared. Simon says, walk through door number one. The friends did as Simon said. On the other side was sweet, a sweet-smelling grove, where everything was made from peaches. Wheezy took a big bite. Peachy keen. Now you can guess what the songbird's next word means. Now, can you guess what the songbird's next words mean? Simon asked. Well, said Cassie, in an orchard, we learned manzanas mean apples. Now we're here, so I think duranos is Spanish for peaches. You're right, said Simon. And just for that, you can all take a shortcut. Everyone slid down the, the knucker hole shortcut and found themselves in the middle of the Dragonland Carnival. Simon says have fun, shouted the gnome. The friends all followed Simon's orders by riding the roller coaster, bumping in the bumper cars, and eating sky-high cotton candy. But the moment Simon said to, they all jumped back down the knucker hole. We're almost at the end of our game, said Simon, when everyone landed outside the dragon's treehouse. There's just one more thing left to do, Simon says. Try to guess the, sing the singing songbird's last words. Everyone thought for a minute. Apple, apples, peaches, Max muttered. I know, Emmy said. I think I've heard the song before. It's apples, peaches, pumpkin pie? Close, said Simon. But here in Dragonland, birds sing about another kind of pie. Dragonberry pie, guessed Ord, rubbing his hungry tummy. You figured it out, said Simon. Apples, peaches, dragonberry pie. Just then, the Espanola songbirds begin to sing from a tree above. This time, Max, Emmy, and their dragon friends sing along too. Manzanas, Duranos, Un Pastel de Moras, 
Dragonitas, with another wink and nod from Simon, the delicious dragonberry pies appeared for everyone to share. Good game, said Simon. Simon says, you're all winners. Now I must be on my way. He slid away on his magical game board, waving goodbye to his friends. So long, amigos. Hey, I know what amigos means, Zach boasted. Me too, Zachy, Wheezy shouted, giggling. Friends. The end. All right, everybody. So that is going to conclude today's day 11 of the 12 days of holidays. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you tomorrow.